Alrighty guys, and welcome back. This might be a little bit too familiar of a spot since I was just here the other day. But basically I got a 3770K, just popped it in. Ran some uh, Prime 95 and it was running hot and I think it might be something to do with this Cooler Master thermal paste. So I ran to uh, Radio Shack and got some Arctic Silver. I don't know if that's in focus. Arctic Sil Silver 5 and uh, basically, what we're going to do is try to swap out thermal paste and see how much of an improvement we get. I think I was running in the 60s at stock clocks, and I have a Hyper 2 on 2, you can see. So, we're going to change this out and see what we get. Stay tuned. Uh, one other thing I thought I'd mention is when you're installing the Hyper 2 on 2, uh, those screws around the edges, make sure you tighten them down all the way. This is about the... 90th time I think I've installed a Hyper 2 and 2 and uh, it does make a difference. Uh, make sure that it, you can't just spin it, you know, make sure it's tight and those screws are all the way down. They will stop whenever they're all the way in, so make sure to screw them all the way down. Alrighty, I think she's all ready to go. Got the push-pull fans back on and uh, if you've built PCs before, you know to never put the side panel on <laughs> before you boot it up again. Um, it's bad luck. It's like uh, stepping on the, the line on baseball. Just don't do it. Alrighty, so it appears our problem was probably something to do with voltage. Um, stock voltage was 1.2. I dropped it down to 1.16. Um, I'm getting the same temperatures and I'm at 3800 MHz. So I think I'm going to keep going down with voltage and up with my speed and see where we end up. Hopefully I didn't get a crappy overclocker, but we'll see. Alrighty, now we're at 4 gigahertz at 1.5 volts. It's kind of hopping between 1.44 uh, and 1.5, and this is at uh, 4 gigahertz. I was getting the same temps at 3.5 gigahertz, and just keeping on taking down the voltage and increasing my multiplier. So I think I'll just try to increase the multiplier from here. Uh, we'll see, because uh, I do want to hit around 4.5 at least. We'll see what this chip can do, but. Temps are still looking just fine, and uh, let's keep going. Look at the new Windows blue screen. <laughs> it's so much nicer than the last one. Alrighty, so we're going for 1.28 volts at 4.5 gigahertz. Um, I'm not sure, it looks kind of unstable. I already had it crash once on me at uh, 1.25, so I don't know if this is, oh, yep. There it goes, so. I think Ivy Bridge just doesn't like 4.5, at least for me. I know people have gotten it up there, but I don't really want to go to 1.3 volts. Uh, my 3570K sat at 1.27, I think, for 4.4 gigahertz, so looks like it's going to be almost the exact same story on this 3770, but that's not a huge deal. At least I got the hyper threading now, so I don't need a massive overclock, and if I do switch to like a custom loop, then that's when I'll be won't be as afraid to pump a bunch of voltage into it. I mean, at least staying around 1.3, uh, I wouldn't be too concerned. So, alrighty, I think this is where I'm going to stop for today. 1.26 at 4.4 uh, gigahertz, and that's perfectly comfortable temperatures, uh, especially for where I live. I mentioned it before, I live in New Mexico, so... Uh, yeah, I know it is February, but it's like 70 degrees outside already today. <laughs> <clears throat> excuse me, and it's like 70 degrees in my house, so I'm not too concerned. Uh, 70 degrees Fahrenheit, that is not Celsius, obviously, but uh, anyway, I'm pretty comfortable with those temps. As long as it's under 80, I'm perfectly fine, so uh, it's one, I think I have it set to 1.27 on my motherboard, and it's kind of staying stable at 1.264 and 1.272 or something like that. If you guys have overclocked before, you know it does this, but anyway, uh, I think... That's going to do it for me. I'm going to let Prime 95 run for a little bit longer. That's only past like three tests, but honestly, the way I overclock, I just let Prime 95 run for like two or three minutes, and if it's stable, then I'll keep going. These people that run it for like an hour before they move up on their overclock, I, I don't see any point to it. So the way I do it is just get it to run a couple minutes, then keep moving. Then once I find an overclock that I like, then I'll let it run for an hour or something like that, you know. So anyway, um... If you have any overclocking questions, feel free to leave them below. It's another thing that I know a little bit about, but I'm not an expert in uh, by any means. But yeah, if you're curious, go ahead and leave a question. But other than that, guys, thanks for checking out the video. 
Um, I'm not sure. I, this actually started as a thermal paste test and turned into an overclocking video. But uh, if you guys uh, wondered, uh, the, the Arctic Silver did help a little bit. Um, I think mainly the problem was the voltage was a little bit high. But So I went up 5 or 10 degrees and got almost a full uh, gigahertz uh, more overclock out of this thing. So anyways, I'm going to quit rambling and uh, go ahead and get this video ready to go and I'm gonna freaking render it hopefully at the speed of light <laughs> literally at the speed of light with this 3770 anyways guys we'll talk to you later